I want to talk to you about courage and where we find courage when we're surrounded by trouble. In this story, courage takes the form of a United States Marine by the name of Lewis Burwell Puller, better known as Chesty Puller. He was a general officer in the United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant General Chesty Puller was one of the most, if not the most, highly decorated combat Marines in Marine Corps history. To his credit, he was awarded five Navy Crosses, the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star Medal, two Legion of Merit Awards with the Valor Device, a Bronze Star Medal with the Valor Device, three Air Medals, the Purple Heart, and two Combat Action Ribbons. You get the idea. Chesty Puller fought in Haiti and Nicaragua and in some of the bloodiest battles of World War II and Korea. And it was in the bitter cold of a Korean winter at the Battle of Chosen Reservoir that Chesty Puller sent this communication. Quote, We've been looking for the enemy for some time now. We finally found them. We're surrounded. That simplifies things. End quote. I love that communication because it's just saturated with his sense of confidence and drive, no matter how dire the situation seemed to be. So where do you and I find confidence when things look bleak? I'm reminded of a story in the scripture where the disciples were surrounded by trouble. They were on a boat and they were surrounded by a storm. And Matthew records that the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Now, in spite of the fact that several of these guys were professional sailors and fishermen, they were just overcome by the sheer power of nature. And the fact of the matter is that our lives are very fragile. One tornado, one earthquake, one phone call, one doctor's report can change the course of our lives forever in a moment. And as the hours rolled by and as the storm grew worse, they began to lose hope on that boat. And I could imagine uh, in their minds they began to think thoughts like, is the devil attacking us? Is God ticked off at somebody in this boat? Or I hope it doesn't hurt to drown. I imagine were all thoughts that were going through their mind. And Matthew recorded that it was in the darkest hour when Jesus came to them walking on the sea. And I love the honesty of the scriptures here because Matthew says that all the guys in the boat started screaming out loud when they saw him. They didn't recognize that it was Jesus. And I think that's the danger for you and me as well. When we fail to recognize that the Son of God will never fail to come to us when things are at their worst. Jesus immediately said to them these words, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. I love that sense of, of courage and strength that Jesus inspires in us and that he brings with his presence into our lives. Jesus reminds us that no matter what's going on, he is on top of the situation. And King David wrote these words, The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. And the Lord blesses his people with peace. So when you're surrounded by trouble and you need confidence, remember that Jesus has promised to never leave us or forsake us. And that with Jesus, he brings us his confidence 